guys, it's Zula here from Finalogy Customs and Reviews, and today I'm going to show you my new mock I built. So I'm just going to try to make this a quick video. Hopefully it's not going to be as long as the other ones, but yeah. I'm making this because I know some of you guys prefer when I actually like go over some things of the mock. So yeah, let's get into it. So starting out with um, the water, actually the first thing that I did with this mock was build some of the rocks, of course. But I also built a sandy area inside of here. It's a little bit hard to tell, but in person you can really see it and I think it works really well. It looks for a really cool effect. Before it was all just this this regular stub piece, but I didn't have enough to cover it up. And plus I was just prototyping. And if you want to see pictures of me building mocks and things like that, I guess you just head over to Instagram because I post updates on there and things like that so I built like a whole bunch of like coral and plants and stuff like that underwater rocks and all that base and also I was working on this one like little area I don't know what you would call it but you see these kind of and I based this off of the Zen garden so basically I wanted to make a Ninjago mock, something a little bit different from what I normally do. And yeah, so I made it Zen Garden themed. I made a lot of the sand and green for the bridges, not too much sand and green, but just the right amount, I think. This mock was really fun to do. One of my favorite mocks I built. I like including the frogs in a lot of my mocks, just kind of for fun, things like that. So I ended up doing that, made the bridge. And this design for this fence I've done before in another mock that's kind of feed inspired. So if you want, you can check that out. And then I ended up going for this stone snot technique where I mixed in sand green and other pieces in here. And it's kind of a tedious technique, but it's definitely worth it. I had to redo it several times by trying to figure out how to make this work because at first this was going to be a lot lower and it's going to be drowning in the water so I had to change that up of course so looking down this is cool it was completely not planned or anything because I thought the clear looked really well because for like you know foamy rushing water look you know that you see in the water and as it comes from here it's like you know not that much and more ripples around the the fish and the water and that actually makes sense and then going down here you can see more of the darker one by four pieces and trans and I actually had to use that otherwise <coughs> this would not be able to work so that pretty much saved me right there because there's nothing to attach to on the sides right here so there's tons more of these one by two pieces in here that I had to use and it completely makes sense because this is where the rapids are getting stronger around here and then there's a cool rock and had some pieces splashing up over it and I just you know had to build around what I already built so yeah one of the main things you see in Zen gardens and such is it's like, you know, stones here and there because it's not really sand. I mean, it kind of is, but it's more of like fine, you know, coarse, not to be an Anakin, but you get the idea. It's more of just ground up sand. And then I had some more of the stone sort of rocky structures in there. So, yeah, I thought that turned out well. Here is probably my favorite single detail of the entire mock. I put just some of those 1x2 flat tiles in there to make it more of like a card wall with like stone bricks here and there and there. And I kept that same design. Also I know that when I was doing the border it kind of does resemble like uh, some sort of, I don't know, like techie thing. But anyways, it's still I still think it works really well for this mock. Because, you know, the Ninjago, like, even Samurai X over here has, like, mechs and stuff. And it's all technically, like, advanced and all that sort of thing. But even, like, 
even before the part where they like really get all like New York y Ninjago Tokyo show. So so like this part right here with this one by four because I didn't even plan this out. That's just kind of how it turned out because this turns out where the pathway is and it looks like it's you know just starting to like you know come out more as if it was like more of an actual pathway so I just thought that was pretty cool. One of my favorite parts of the mock as well. And you know just lots of bamboo. And oh yeah the last thing I wanted to go over for this was this tree. So basically I wanted it to look like some sort of bonsai tree and I know most of the leaves are going out there but you can actually see part of the branch is the bionicle spine right here. So I did that and then I also have it bending and I used some of the red studs that I got from the sarlacc pit with the holes in them and it blends really well with the leaves. So that was really cool. So yeah you can kind of just see from this how it's all like bent and stuff and angled. I was gonna make it a lot more curvy but I honestly thought this was fine. I wanted to do more trees like Probably one right here would be cool, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for my mock guys. Hope you all enjoyed, found it entertaining, and so thought of um, saw some cool designs that you liked and want to use in future mocks. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for my next upload. See you soon.